the enemy's been really doing a work on a lot of people, trying to get us desensitized in stress and overwhelm, living from the outside in, living in reaction, trying to, in our own strength, in soul power, be a good Christian, trying to attain through self-effort an identity and way of life that is already ours in Christ. I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, family. Thank you for tuning in for this week's episode of Live Your Best Life with me, Liz Wright. And in our time together today, I want to take us on a journey into what I feel is in the Lord's heart, what experience he passionately wants to draw us all into. And um, for some of you out from warfare and into a place of renewed freedom and rest today. So the phrase that the Lord's been giving me, I've recently shared some of this on our international mentoring community, but the phrase that he keeps bringing to me and then the experience he keeps taking me back into to live from and reset into and live from is a better way of saying it, is the realm of of rest, entering into the rest of God, supernatural rest, right? The that entering into the rest of God is not a place of having it dependent on no drama in our external world. It's much deeper, much more profound than that. And it's the place that we can consistently live from. And we're going to step into this experience together today. Holy, oh, I just feel the presence of Holy Spirit. I just want to, wow, oh, holy, wow, wow. Wow, I wow, holy. I encourage you, if you can, as long as you're not driving, to just open your heart to him. As I begin to read the scriptures and share in a flow from his heart, I want this to be an immersive experience for you. So if you can, just open your heart to him. Come fully present right now. Just leave the cares of the world on his lap at the door of this moment. These next 30 minutes, just let your heart's attention lock onto Jesus, onto the truth I'm going to bring to you through the word of God, through what he's been speaking to me. And you will shift from living perhaps in that reactionary place we can so easily get into where the drama in life really affects us and our peace is stolen, our temporal soul realm peace, emotional state of peace is disrupted to living centered deep within yourself in the true realm of divine rest. Oh, Holy Spirit, wow. Which enables the presence of God, the Prince of Peace, his own being to move through you like liquid oil continually. So you live from the inside out, not from the outside in. You live as the one setting the atmosphere, not being affected by the external atmosphere, so to speak. Profound, supernatural, simple, life-changing truth when we embrace this and move into it. So I really feel his presence. This is, he's already started to move by his spirit, right? He's already beginning to permeate you afresh. I can feel him doing it right now with himself with the one who is true rest, divine rest and peace, to bring you out of any turmoil that you've been in, any warfare that you've been in. The enemy's been really attacking to to try to cause us to live in our own strength, to grit our teeth and keep living a good Christian life in our own strength, which of course we all know results in eventually burnout. And the Lord wants to bring us out of that out of all warfare, out of all triggers, out of all living from the outside in, having our soul leading 
back into that this incredible place of entering the rest of God. So what does it mean? Okay, I'm just going to give you a scripture that profound scripture, Hebrews 4, chapter 4, verse 1. So as I'm speaking, listen with your heart wide open to Jesus and Holy Spirit will really move and ignite truth into you as through the word and you'll begin to experience him. So Hebrews 4, 1, now God has offered to us the same promise of entering into his realm of resting in confident faith. So we must be extremely careful to ensure that we all embrace the fullness of that promise, the fullness of it, right? Meaning being our consistent reality and not fail to experience it. For we have heard the good news of deliverance, just as they did, and yet they didn't join their faith with the word. Instead, what they heard didn't affect them deeply, for they doubted. For those of us who believe, faith activates the promises, and we experience the realm of confident rest. Now just get this. So it's looking at the root meaning, meaning, there's many, right? There's a universe of meaning in the original language. So the the original meaning in Greek and Hebrew of the word translated into English as rest is to stop from all your work, so living in your own strength, and to take possession of the promised land. Isn't that profound? (laughs) So when we enter into rest, into the rest of God, we cease from striving to live in our own strength. We take possession of the promised land. What's the promised land for us as new covenant believers? It's new creation life, right? It's now the reality that we are the house, the temple of Holy Spirit. We're the home of God. So we now live as new creation people through through and from union with Jesus as the central strength, source, and nature of our life. And so when we believe this, we embrace it, we take possession of the promised land. So we fully embrace this truth, agree with it, with all of our heart. When we do that, we've taken possession of our promised land. We've completely embraced this truth with all of our being. We've ceased from living in our own strength, living in an identity that was a construct of our world experience. But actually now we we are sitting with all of our heart, believing that we are now the home of God. Holy Spirit resides inside of us. He is our life now. He is our nature now. He is our source now. We are an entirely new creation in Christ. When that happens, we are in the realm of the rest of God. And we cannot be moved from here. This one central profound found realization with our heart and we believe it as it says in proverbs as a man or woman believes so are they so are they so as we believe this we become the manifestation of the truth we're now beholding we become what we're beholding we're beholding we are accepting with our heart the profound reality of the promised land new creation life. We are now a city whose builder and maker is God, right? We're the city on a hill, shining the light, revealing Christ now, holy, wow, revealing God, which is our birthright, our destiny, whatever we're doing in life. That is why we're here, to be in that beautiful, intimate relationship with him now made possible through our union with him, because Holy Spirit resides inside of us. 
we can know him intimately, know every aspect of who he is as the great I am now within us. Holy, 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 be able to shine his light, see sickness eradicated from those that we love, see the demonic cast out, see the dead raised spiritually, physically, as life, the one who is abundant life drips from us, right? This is all part of our new creation design, our new creation life experience now. And it's to be all the time. We're to move, like the scripture says there, into the full experience of this. We're not to miss out through unbelief, but we're to marry our faith with the word and step into what's happened. And as we embrace this through our belief, which is a gift to us anyway, right? Holy. Holy. Holy then our whole life experience transforms and we live from deep, complete, consistent rest. And that changes everything. From there, we live increasingly in divine life, divine health, body, soul, spirit, expressing Christ consistently. So how do we move from faith into from unbelief through faith into rest how do we move from there if we're struggling with unbelief if you've been getting pummeled by the enemy if the enemy's been lying to you about your worth or your identity how do you move back and you you move from that state into active faith and therefore back into the realm of rest i found the most helpful way is to put my eyes off my circumstances for a moment, what's triggering me from my external world and causing a temporal reaction in me, I look at a centre back into re-entering the realm of the rest of God. I look at the life of Jesus. I look at how he walked, how he was constantly in communication with the Father, constantly was revealing the Father through the wisdom that came out of his mouth, through the power that was displayed from his life, right? As we look at Jesus, he's the firstborn among us, right? He's the prototype. So as we see him in him, we see in whose image we've been made. And so as I look at Jesus and I look at the fruit again, I refresh my mind, I re-nourish myself by looking, right? That's what the word look in the Bible often means it means to nourish. So as we look at Jesus, we're receiving fresh nourishment through the truth of, of his example. How he walked is how we now walk, is a new creation made in his image, constantly, constantly in union, constantly in communication with the Father, constantly receiving downloads of truth, constantly releasing the power of God, constantly dripping kindness and goodness, beauty, healing over people. Everywhere he went, the beauty of divine nature was saturating the people, restoring people, clothing people with dignity, healing hearts with compassion and kindness, providing for their needs, the, the supernatural um, multiplication of food, you know, from the fishes and the loaves and so on. And then what I do is I remind myself that the Spirit of God is now inside of me. So I look at Jesus and know that by his Spirit now indwelling me, I now have union with him. And therefore, as I rest into that reality as now being my new creation life, what floods out of me is him is him. That is new creation life. And my capacity to live like this is because he's inside of me. So he's releasing the life through me. He's igniting the divine, the supernatural faith inside of me that enables me to move from temporal reaction and unbelief back through supernatural faith into supernatural rest. So this is the privileged interior life of you and me now as new creation people. This is the way we've been privileged to live, recreated to live 
that's the intention of God. And when we do, we're living in this place of divine rest. When we're still, we experience God. Like, like the scripture says, be still and know that I'm God. We experience him from this interior place of stillness. We have his mind on matters. We feel his heart concerning people. We see through the lens of his heart. We see through the lens of divine perspective. Noise drowns out the sound of his voice. When there's a lot of external noise, as we know, and pressure and anxiety and overwhelm, the enemy knows what he's doing. He's constantly trying to desensitize us and disconnect us from living in this place, in this connected place of rest, of union, rest and union, knowing and it all comes from this ignited faith, awareness internally, knowing that we really are a new creation. This is the real deal, the true Christian life. We're now one with the unlimited, all-powerful, all-loving, all-knowing God. So as we move in increasing levels of rest internally and stillness, we become increasingly powerful able to reveal his intention, his heart, release a pure sound of what he's saying without contamination and mixture coming in because of the war. We get more and more clear on the inside side, more and more secure in our heart because of the connectedness to our relationship that we now have with Jesus. And then, so therefore, we become powerful. We become are authentic, authentic new creation people showing up. And just because of our presence, because of who is within us, we're changing the atmosphere around us. We're seeing his restorative power moving out of us to bring life where there's death, destruction, decay, where the, the enemy's activity has been prevalent. We come in and he releases through us, through our partnership with him and brings forth life, resurrection, life where there's death, degeneration, decay, sickness, all of that is not from God, right? It's from the enemy. He came to bring life and life in abundance. Jesus descended into the earth and then ascended, Ephesians 4, to bring about the restoration and fulfillment of all things through us, his body, right? On the earth. Now we are his hands and feet. We are the body through which he expresses. And this is all kingdom life as we know. This is the privilege. And the center of it is rest, is rest. The enemy's been really doing a work on a lot of people, trying to get us desensitized, str in stress and overwhelm, living from the outside in, living in reaction, trying to, in our own strength, in soul power, be a good Christian, trying to attain through self-effort an identity and way of life that is already ours in Christ. That's called religion. And that result, right? And again, it results in religious burnout. Jesus wants us fully, freshly attuned into who we are as supernatural people and set deeply into this place of rest. So we can live from it. And we just simply stay here through this awareness of our true identity. You can see why the enemy fights, can't you, to, to rob us of the understanding of who we are. Because when we do and we enter the rest of God, we become unstoppable. We move in governmental power and authority because we're in tune with the one, in step with the one who is governmental power and authority, who is love. Love is the greatest authority that moves into the earth because God is love. And in the presence of divine love, the presence of the goodness and the love of God, when it touches humanity, he touches humanity through our words, through our presence, through our touch, sovereignly. Everything changes. Everything changes. So I want to just spend a few moments now resetting us there. I've written out just a crafted dialogue 
to help you with your heart language speaking to Jesus. So if, as I lead us into this, let it be your heart language too. And every time you find yourself spinning out in overwhelm, gritting your teeth, moving in your own strength, remember to, through awareness that you are a new creation in Christ, believing that, re-enter rest, re-enter rest, and this will help you do that. Quick scripture as we begin, Galatians 2.20, one of my life verses, super helpful for this, to spiritually regulate yourself back into your authentic expression. My old identity has been co-crucified with Christ and no longer lives. So the nails of his cross crucified me with him and now the essence of this new life is no longer mine. For the anointed one lives his life through me. We live in union as one. My new life is empowered by the faith of the Son of God, who loves me so much that he gave himself for me and dispenses his life into mine. So just let this language now be your heart language. Jesus, I sink deeply into you now, into your enfolding presence within me. I break agreement with any and all thinking now, all agreement with unbelief. Regarding who I am, holy, wow, he's really moving, bringing freedom there. I break all agreement, Jesus, with any other thinking, all unbelief regarding who I am and the life I now have in you. Thank you, Jesus. Let your heart stay focused on him. Oh, holy Jesus. I enter now fully the realm of confident rest through the archway of faith, believing who you say I am. Your presence is now within me forever. I take full possession of my promised land now. I break agreement with the lie that I am a distorted form, the distorted form is the literal interpretation of the word hamatia in the Greek, which translates into the English as the word sin. You are no longer a carrier of the sin nature which produces sinning sins. You are no longer a distorted form contaminated through the infiltration and deception of Satan at the fall. And Eve was deceived and humanity became distorted, a distorted form that was dealt with at the cross. You are now a new creation in Christ, the fruit of the spirit, the nature of God that flows out of you now that streams from your life as you live in union with him is love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and kindness and gentleness, selflessness, self-control. You are a new creation with a brand new nature. It's so important for us to revisit these truths. This is the place that all power flows from in our lives, this realization the enemy's working on identity theft all the time because he knows he shuts the power down and the expression of Christ in the earth down when he can accomplish that, even temporarily, in our awareness. Jesus is freeing up your conscious awareness again and bringing you now fully and completely through your awakened, strengthened awareness all over again into taking full possession, occupying entirely the promised land of new creation life in the realm of the kingdom that you now live in. Jesus, I break agreement with the lie that I have a distorted, I am a distorted form. I stop now from striving in my own strength to try and be perfect. 
to create in my own strength the nature in me that is already mine as a new creation in you. I rest, taking full possession now, Jesus, full ownership of my new life, one with you. I receive your spirit bubbling up, flowing faith through my being. I trust you and I thank you that I am now one with you. I live in the realm now of rest, of peace. Anxiety, overwhelm, reactions do not define my identity, do not dictate my reality. I live in the realm now where all promises from you are realized into my life experience, the most precious to my heart, Jesus being that I can know you intimately and I can live in profound and complete security of heart, enjoying my life in you, you being the core strength of my life with your love, your purity, your beauty, your holiness, your power, flowing through me and flowing from me is the authentic expression of my life to reveal you just as Jesus is. So am I now in this world as your image. And I thank you, Jesus, that I can say like you did, Satan has no agreement in me. Therefore, he has no power over me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 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 Who? If you can stay with him, to stay with him a little bit longer, keep sinking deeper and deeper into the realm that is actually the center of your being now, is a new creation in him. Anything contrary to this truth is a deception and should be completely rejected. You are a new creation. You are the promised land. Have the most amazing week and I look forward to being with you again next week. God bless. Two years ago, Jesus spoke to me and he said, if I would create a space for him, he would come. And what he has done in the last two years is absolutely incredible. He birthed what is now known as the International Mentoring Community. Every week, Myself, along with other international guest speakers, come on live and they pour in God's love and revelation. There is an activation anointing on my life. And so every single week, as we come together at the feet of Jesus, I have an environment in which I can impart this anointing onto you. He never, ever misses a week with us. He wants to take you into deeper experiences with him than you thought was even possible. So I want to personally invite you now to come and join us and sit at his feet with us.